Nashville, Tennessee recently released its annual water quality report and our water nerds dug through it so that you don't have to. In this video, we're going to go over our big takeaways from the report. Make sure to comment below to suggest which city our water nerds should tackle next. Let's start with chromium-6. Chromium-6 is a highly toxic metal that is not regulated by the EPA. In recent years, tap water in Nashville has averaged 60 parts per trillion for chromium-6, with concentrations reaching as high as 170 parts per trillion. For the sake of perspective, these levels are four to eight times higher than the concentration determined to have a negligible impact on cancer risk. EPA has acknowledged that chromium-6 is a known human carcinogen through inhalation, but is still determining its cancer potential through ingestion of drinking water. Lung, nasal, and sinus cancers are associated with chromium-6 exposure. Next is lead. Lead enters tap water through old lead service pipes and lead-containing plumbing. 10% of samples analyzed for lead by Metro Water Services detected concentrations over one part per billion. Though currently in compliance with a federal action level of 15 parts per billion, Environmental Protection Agency, CDC, and the American Academy of Pediatrics all recognize that there is no safe level of lead, especially for children. Additionally, these measurements may not be a true indication of your tap water if your home has lead plumbing or lead fixtures. That being said, we recommend that homes with lead infrastructure purchase a filter optimized to remove lead. Last is disinfection byproducts, or DBPs. DBPs are a category of emerging contaminants, which means that they have been detected in drinking water, but the risk to human health is unknown. Nashville's concentrations of both categories were slightly elevated. Total trihalomethanes were 53 parts per billion, which is relatively close to the EPA maximum contaminant level, or MCL, of 80 parts per billion. Additionally, the average concentration of haloacetic acids was 48.1 parts per billion, which is also close to the MCL of 60 parts per billion. Regulatory agencies have very little knowledge about the adverse health effects of DBPs or their toxicity. EPA has stated that they have been linked to increased risks of bladder cancer, as well as kidney, liver, and central nervous system problems. Our water nerds would love to hear from you where we should go next. Comment below and let us know which city report we should dig into. Make sure to subscribe to get notified when your video goes live. Thanks for watching.